Hello again, Andrew Reeby with Planet Solutions here. I want to talk about another new exciting feature that has been added to Cabinet Vision Solid 2012 Release 1. As you may have noticed, as new versions are released, we are moving to a more CAD-friendly design environment. This is evident with the addition of CAD tools, the new object shape editor, and CAM tools. Another way we are doing this is with the introduction of the new wall tools. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here I have a simple job that I started. I have no walls placed, so I'm going to click on the wall button to start drawing some. Now, before I start drawing anything, I want to point out a few new things. If you look at the ribbon bar, you can see that I have a whole lot of new stuff showing. Let's start with the layers group. The layers work just like in the shape editor and the cam tab of the part. You only have two layers, and you can't edit, add, or delete them. If we expand the available layers out, we can see we have walls and construction. Any CAD elements we place on the walls layer will be turned into walls, while any CAD elements we place on the construction layer won't be. In the inquiry group, we have tools that will allow us to select a single element, select all the elements, and measure the distance between elements. Here in the modify group, you see a lot of tools that allow you to modify the CAD elements. Most of them are grayed out right now, that's because I'm in the walls layer. If I were in the construction layer, they would all be available. And here we have our drawing group. I'm going to expand out the group since it has been collapsed due to the size of the cabinet vision window. Okay, now that we have that up, let's go over the various CAD elements. The line tool will allow us to create a single line. The chained line tool will allow us to create multiple lines that are all chained together. The line box tool allows you to create a series of lines that are all joined to create a rectangle. Let's go over the various arc tools now. First, we have arc by radius. Once we select this tool, we need to place our first point. This point allows us to define the center of the circle used to draw the arc. Next, we need to define the radius. We can do so by pulling out the line, like this, or we can set the length of the line here. The next point represents the start of the wall. The final point represents the end of the wall. Just a note, the arc can only be drawn in a clockwise direction using this tool. Next we have the three points arc. This allows us to define an arc by using three points. The first point being the start of the wall, the second point being the point at which the wall bends, and the third point we use to be the end of the wall and the actual arc of the wall. And finally, we get to arc by chord. Now, I'm not really going to go over this, I'm just going to draw one out real quick, because this is the old way that Cabinet Vision used to draw walls, so you should be fairly familiar with it. Thank you for taking the time to view this demonstration. If you would like more information on Cabinet Vision Solid, please feel free to visit the Cabinet Vision website at www.cabinetvision.com. For those of you viewing this video from eSupport, you can click on the hyperlink in this video to go there now.